Hey guys, welcome back to Dragon's Den Arm Wrestling. Today we have uh, Cody Woods in the back, myself, Mac Ruiz, and special guest Dylan Burns. Um, due to internet issues and a couple other technical issues, you're only seeing me on the screen for the very moment during the intro. After that, we're going to go to more of just a, an audio cast type of thing. So, and we're going to have a video for you guys to uh, watch. It'll be this one. Everybody knows this one. And I'm going to leave it hang there. All right. So, Dylan, welcome to Dragon's Den. Thank you for having me. So, um, tell us a little bit about yourself, Dylan. Just as far as, like, when you started arm wrestling, where are you out of? Tell us a little bit about your crew. You know, what, is that, what does that look like from where you're at? Well, I, uh, arm, I've, I've been around arm wrestling my whole life. My dad's uh, one world six times. Um, I didn't really, he kind of got out, <clears throat> he kind of got out of it a little bit um, whenever I was born. And like his last worlds until we went was 2000. So I was just a baby while he was in it. And I didn't actually get interested in it until I was probably 20 or 21. Um, mm-hmm. I've been in it around five years now or so, pretty consistent. Um, I live in, I live down by Lake of the Ozarks. I live in Eldridge, a little town in between Lebanon and Camdenton. Um, and really, as far as the team, it's just me and dad, really. I've got a, got several guys that will come around and pull with us a little bit, but we don't, uh, it's just us. Cool. Awesome. Um, so when this round robin came, and like, how often do you travel for tournaments? Uh, well, so I, w I was pretty active uh, a couple years ago. Um, this last October, I went to Turkey to the Worlds, and um, I kind of I, I took I didn't pull much uh, leading up to that, you know, trying to get ready for it. And then since then, this round robin was the first thing I've been to. So gotcha. I've been I I just had my first baby in January and been pretty busy with that. Yeah, congratulations. Uh, we you. are actually due in a month myself. So my wife and I also. Awesome, man. Congrats. That's that's great. Yeah. So um, with this round, Robin, uh, what did it feel like going up into ar this many arm wrestlers of this caliber in one single uh, event? Oh, man, it was awesome. I was, I mean, it was, it was something, it gave me a lot of motivation to keep training and stay, uh, stay consistent with my training and everything. And, um, I was just excited to go test myself and see where I stood. Yeah. Cool. Good stuff. And then like, um, so have you, have you, Cody, have you guys ever met before? No, that was, that was my first time meeting Dylan during the press conference. Gotcha. And, um, from what little bit of information did you guys knew of each other? What did you guys actually, um, what did you, uh, what did you think of each other? You know, cause you're, everybody's sizing everybody up at these events, especially one, one like this, you're trying to figure out who's who, uh, we'll start with you, Cody. Like what is, uh, what did you think of Dylan as far as that goes from what you knew of him? I knew he was a really high ranked guy. I know he, he just crushes most of the guys he goes against super, super fast. Like one of the fastest guys in the country that I've seen. So I knew that was going to be an issue because I'm not really the fastest puller. I'm more of a horsepower puller. So just seeing his speed definitely had me worried going into this. Yeah. And Dylan, what about, um, what about you? Um, I had seen, uh, I hadn't seen much on Cody. And when I seen he was in this around Robin, I looked him up and I seen him doing them crazy ass weighted one arm pull-ups. <laughs> I was like, man, there's no way I want to get into, like, I don't want to get into a long match with him or something where it's deep. But I, I was just, I knew he was going to be strong, but I didn't know much about him. Gotcha. Gotcha. And uh, who, for you, Dylan, who was like your, on your radar as being the big threat for you? Like a couple threats that you're like, I have to get through this round. Hopefully not take too much damage. You know, the kind of standard conversation yeah. that everybody well, was having with each other. Man, honestly, I really tried not to have that conversation because I didn't want to take anybody for granted. Right. I wanted. I just took it one match at a time, and I was looking at everybody like they were the same. You know, that's that's what I was. I didn't really single anybody out. I just was trying to look at everybody the same one round at a time. Yeah. 
Um, were there any rounds at any point where you found yourself getting particularly exhausted or taking more damage than you wanted to at early rounds where you're just like, oh man, this is going to be a long event. <laughs> um, I felt great until me and Cody put that strap on and he buckled my wrist. <laughs> I did. After, after that, my hand was gone. I mean, it was. Um, I don't. I don't know why. I. I mean, I. I. I think I went outside maybe once or twice before our match, but. Um, I. I mean, it was feeling good, and man, we got in that strap, and you got that height. Whenever you readjusted and got that height on me, man, I. I knew I should have had a restrap, but I, I didn't, and I just. It just. My my wrist was gone after that. It was all inside from there on out. <laughs> so actually, that's a good segue for um, for the event that unfolded after that. So I'm going to go ahead and play the video. This is going to catch the audience up for those who don't know. Um, and then we'll what we'll do is we'll discuss it from there. So here we go. <laughs> So right here, you guys are setting up for the slip up. There we go. I got you guys. Yeah, we're here. Cool. So yeah, um, go ahead. I'll let you guys kind of talk about what was going on there in the moment that kind of caused that tension. So for me, what it was um, was me folded my hand like a baby. <laughs> he got pretty hyped. And I, he said something like, uh, "Where are you going?" or something like that. And then he yelled, and that got me pretty hyped. So when I felt that there was a lane in the straps, that got me hyped. Because usually I don't say anything when I'm on the table. I'm just real quiet. But that got me hyped because I was like, well, he's already got hyped a little bit, so then I'm going to get hyped. So then I started talking a little trash. And then we exchanged a few words when we were setting up um, in the rest group. And then uh, after after the match, when I went to take the strap off, I went to pull my hand out, and it was still caught on my hand. And it pulled his arm a little bit. And I guess he thought that I was trying to be rude. And so that's when he, he kind of got upset about that, which I can understand because, I mean, with all the attention, with all the tension, and then we were both talking a little trash, I can definitely understand. Um, but then once we shook hands and everything, I mean, we were cool. We, we understood that neither one of us really meant any, like, 
animosity towards each other and have no disrespect towards each other. Yeah, and I'll kind of, I'm kind of my my perspective is pretty much what you just said right there. I mean, I was it, we went to the strap and uh, we was talking, you know, we we was going back and forth a little bit, and then you know the match happened. You beat me. I reached up and shook your hand, and if you noticed, I was looking down at first. I just reached up and shook your hand, and I was looking down. And when you went to pull your arm out of that strap, it kind of jerked on me, and I thought you were still fighting. Like, it just, I took it wrong. You know, I just, it was a misunderstanding, and I uh, I just took you completely wrong. And once you, once I seen you, once you said, hey, man, I didn't mean nothing by it, you know, we shook hands, and it was over in my eyes. Yeah, yeah. And but I like think, I say that I, I do want to say though that still no matter what happened like that doesn't give me an excuse to act that way I you know I apologize for that you know I mean we consider ourselves to be professionals and we ought to act like it. Yeah, and uh, you know misunderstandings will happen. I mean uh, they happen all the time. You know, and obviously that's kind of you know one of the things that prompted this conversation was to clear the air, not for necessarily you guys because you guys already knew it. It's the people that didn't know what happened behind the scenes and that it was cleared that it was a misunderstanding and there was no, you know, there was no intent of, you know, foul play or, you know, bad blood or anything of that sorts. Absolutely not. I mean, definitely. I mean, we can go out to eat with our families together. I mean, I, I think me and Dylan are pretty cool now. Yeah, man. No, like I say, I've got, I gained, I've gained a lot of respect for you for the way you, um, you know, because on that on the clip that was online, it was just a clip of the last bit of it. You know, they didn't put the whole match on there with the slip and us going back and forth and all that. And you can't hear it anyways. Right. Yeah. And I mean. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. And, and, and that, that's kind of why he's just to open this up for the audience. And, you know, that way they can see the actual perspective because it's so, so easy with, you know, Internet troll culture and, you know, to get in there and you know, stir the pot. And I, and I figured this would be a good time, a good opportunity to just clear that immediately, get ahead of it. And that's why we're doing this. But yeah. I yeah, mean, I definitely was, don't want any like BS taken out of context clips to make somebody look bad when it was just some stupid misunderstanding that happened in the heat of the moment. Yeah, well, like I can say, man, like I, I just really appreciate you, uh, you know, telling it, uh, telling it like it was and, and uh, not a lot of people will go along with something like that just for some views, you know, and uh and like I say, I mean, I've got nothing but respect for you, man. You're a good arm wrestler and a good dude. Awesome. Thank you, sir. You as well. So, Dylan, uh, what do you got coming up next for you? Uh, kind of you know, this is to talk about what what events, what are you going to be doing in your life? What are you training for? What's you know what's what's on your radar? As of now, I think there's a uh, Arnold qualifier coming up in St. Louis here, and uh, and and pretty soon. I'm not sure the date on it, but. I'll probably try to hit that up if I can. And other than that, man, I'm uh, hoping to start building a house here within the next year. So I don't know how far I'm really going to be able to get away for a minute, but I'm not, uh, my plan is to not slow down training anymore. Uh, or, you know, like not slow down my training at all or whatever, you know, just keep doing the same things I've been doing and kind of just stay ready and hit, uh, just take it as it comes, you know. I really don't have much planned as of now. Awesome. Well, it was good having you on the channel, Dylan, and I hope you come back in the future. If you have an event that comes up, feel free to reach out to me. I would be glad to host you here to talk about it. And if you guys like this content, comment down below, like and subscribe, and see you guys on the next one.